Hi everyone, John here and welcome to another of my Toon Boom Harmony tutorial videos. Uh, we are currently drawing and rigging a minion from scratch and I'm pleased to say we are very close to the animation stage which is, which is really exciting. Um, but in today's video we are simply going to be patching the arms. Um, if you don't know what patching is, basically it's getting rid of this line where the body and the arm join. Basically you create a patch to cover it. Um, in old versions of Toon Boom you do that manually, but obviously in Harmony now they have a module called Auto Patch, which can do it for you. So if I click on it and just bring up the deformer, um, you can just see that currently if I, if I twist that down, the body goes behind the uh, the arm, sorry, it goes behind the body, like that. Um, but if he wants to touch his tummy or something, then he obviously he needs to come in front um, as well. So we need to have, to have both options available. So the way that I like to do it is to open up the uh, arm group here and drag in an auto patch module and then connect that up. Now the simple way to do it is if they were all in the same uh, or not, if, if these weren't in a group, you'd simply drag this node down from the auto patch and make sure it was in front of the body. But because our body is in the main group, not in the arm group, we can't do that, you see, naturally. So what you have to do is, if I extend this out, you can see, see what I'm doing a bit easier. Um, is create a second composite. So put look at the composite in. So we have two composites, and connect the auto patch to the new composite. Now what we're going to do is um, we're going to create connect this composite down to the multi port out in a second port. So what happens is, if you go up to your main group again, you'll see on the arm group a second node has appeared. So basically whatever comes through this line, through this composite, comes out of the second output. Now now we can drag that output in front of the body. So don't forget the left hand side of the screen is the closest to the camera. So we want to put it onto the left hand side of the body. And you'll notice over here in our window now that it has automatically patched that line for us. So let me just drag this across. So that looks really, really good. So now when we bend our deformer, the patch works really well. But what's happening is we're losing the hand because um, obviously the patch is in front of the body. Um, and also the line art, if you go in a bit closer, the line art disappears as well because the auto patch only takes the color art, not the line art. So you have to have both in front of the body if you want to um, have the arm coming in front. So what we need to do is if we go back into our arm group here, um, we've got the two composites. But we'll, I'm going to take the hand drawing off the first composite and put that on the far left of the second composite, so in front of the auto patch. And now in the window here you'll see the hand has now jumped in front. But obviously we're still missing this line artwork, so I'm going to click on the drawing, um, the arm drawing layer. I'm going to go into the drawing, and go to the line art, which obviously looks like this. And I'm going to simply select it, copy it, and go onto the overlay art layer, and paste it in. And now I'm going to take the cutter tool and cut off the kind of top third and get rid of that. Under the contour editor is the pencil ed pencil editor. We can click on that and using as command create another point and then we can just drag these bits down to make a nice sharp point maybe just sort of slightly like that and then in tool properties we can turn that to round start and end so now we have a nice smooth point there so back in the camera view and in network view I'm going to go to my module library and select an overlay layer so now we're going to take just the overlay art from the art layer, uh, from the art drawing, from arm drawing, and we're going to connect that one now in between the auto patch and the hand. So what you'll see now is that the arm line now is also in front of the body. But as we twist that in, um, just get the transform tool. As we, tw as we twist that in, you'll see that nice sharp point appears. Um, here's also an, another issue, is that the pocket now is obviously still in front of the hand, which looks a bit weird. So again, to fix that, all we've got to do is come in, find where that node joins, and make sure the pocket one is to the right-hand side of it. It's as simple as that. So now that arm is fully functioning 
with a lovely patch involved as well which looks really really good so now I'm just going to quickly do that again for the second arm so let me just go through it slowly with you again so we're going to drag in an auto patch and a second composite we're going to take the arm layer connect it to the auto patch connect that to the composite and then the composite to the multi port out we're going to go up to our main main window and we're going to make sure that the second node there comes in just to the right hand side of the uh, minion first arm second node it's getting a bit confusing but bear with me it, it makes sense just make sure that one comes down behind the over the auto patch of the first arm and then we're going to go into our arm again we are going to go to the line art layer find the line art which is here copy it paste it onto the overlay art layer this time we're going to get rid of the last third of the left hand side take our pencil line editor make that a nice nice point like so select an overlay art layer drag that down and then put that in between oh I've done the hand yet hang on the hand move the hand across like so and now over here in our drawing in our camera view if we select this arm show the um, deformer and bend it oh transform tool try and bend that into roughly the same position as the other arm you'll see that now again we've got a nice clean patch and the arm comes in front of the body and the pocket which looks really good but obviously during animation you might possibly want to um, have the arms going behind the body so let's say he's going to cross his arms behind his back or something um, at the moment we can't do that in this system um, so what I tend to do is I go into the the group in our network view and I find the, the, the deform peg and I just create a normal peg above that and using alt just drag that in transform tool go to the rotate tool and just make sure that that peg layers pivot point is at the, roughly the same place as the deform pivot point and then what we can do now during animation is select the arm layer there and using our alt and up arrow we can just nudge it back in 3D space so it's not working come on you there we go so now I can twist that and it's all behind the body like so now see if I need to bring them out again I can press alt and and the come on and the down arrow which brings it back again to where it was so there we go, these arms are now ready for animation. So I hope you've enjoyed that, thanks for watching, uh, and thanks for all your likes and your comments over the last few videos, I really appreciated your feedback. Um, so, so the next video we're gonna do his mouth, I'm gonna do quite an advanced mouth, and then the video after that is the animation video, which will be quite a long one, but hopefully well worth waiting for. Um, so thanks very much, and if you want to subscribe, please click on the big red button, and if you would like to watch a previous video, please click on one of the other buttons. And, and check them all out. And I will look forward to seeing you in the next video very shortly. All right, thanks for watching.